It's the weight loss mantra that doctors have been touting for decades. Eat less, move more, and those extra pounds will disappear. Advice that 42-year-old Jennifer Haynes says she tried to follow. Did anything ever click or work? Not really. Every time I would do it, I couldn't stick with it. How did the weight gain affect you physically? Physically, I was very tired. I was very depressed. A brand new report by a group of obesity doctors and scientists finds that telling people to eat less could actually be causing more harm than good. And that restricting calories not only causes people to be more hungry, but also slows down metabolism. The body fights back against calorie restriction. Harvard pediatrician and endocrinologist Dr. David Ludwig is the report's lead author. He and his colleagues are suggesting a whole new approach called the carbohydrate insulin model. The idea is simple. If overeating isn't fueling obesity, stop counting calories and just cut carbohydrates to control your insulin levels. Too much insulin, fat cells get programmed to hoard calories so that there aren't too many calories in the bloodstream, there are too few. And that's why we get hungry. Now, more research is finding that low-carb diets are not only effective, they're sustainable. Something Jennifer found out firsthand when she signed up for a low-carb study at Ohio State University in 2019. Led by researcher Jeff Volick, who has been studying low-carb diets for 25 years. He put Jennifer on a diet that contained 37 grams of carbs a day and had high protein and healthy fats like avocados and nuts. After just six weeks, Jennifer lost 20 pounds. So this is just six weeks later and all this white fat has been reduced from what we see. Yes, and this is the type of fat you really want to target. And kept going. Three years later, how much weight have you lost in total? All in total, about 88 pounds. You lost 88 pounds? Yeah. Whoa, that's a big deal. Yes, it's like a huge deal. deal. <laughs> yeah. Jennifer says the diet wasn't easy at first. She was forced to cut out her favorite foods like pasta and potatoes, but seeing results was all the motivation she needed. So once you get used to it and your kids get used to it, it's way easier because you can do it all as a family. And she's not alone. Volek's studies have found that people on low-carb diets can lose more than 10% of their body weight and keep it off. What actually happens to the body when you're on a low-carb diet? When you limit carbohydrates, the body gets really good at burning its own body fat because it doesn't have a lot of sugar to burn for fuel. Something that Jennifer says has been a game changer. I feel great. It's easier for me to get up. It's easier for me to go to sleep. And I feel a lot more comfortable with myself. So one of the most interesting things about this new approach is that it also eliminates some of the stigma surrounding obesity, which is typically treated as a behavioral problem. But mm -hmm. doctors often assume that people are overweight because they simply eat too much. But instead, it actually takes the blame away from the patient and looks at obesity as a biological problem, really focusing on regulating the hormone insulin. And that, they say, is what it's all about. Hmm. But besides just, you know, dropping the weight, I mean, is there some are there other benefits here? Tons of other yeah. benefits. In fact, that researcher, Jeff Volek, that we just spoke to, he's been studying low-carb diets for, for 25 mm -hmm. years. And what's fascinating is that now they're doing new studies to figure out what else it's really affecting. They're looking at different types of cancers That's and even just your mental health. And the studies so far are really promising. But low-carb has been around for a long time. Yeah. I guess you never really knew that the science so you're kind of back the diet, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like the Atkins diet. Yeah. Yeah. Al and I did keto right. for a while. Yeah. I remember we were on that phase. But this right. is low-carb, not, not no carb. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's also interesting. You pointed out. She didn't exercise at all? She did not exercise at all. She said she did not lift a finger. She didn't do anything differently. Yeah. And, and keto, for example, is a more extreme right. form yeah, of right. this type of low carb. Yeah. But again, it's, as Savannah said, it's, it's low carb, but you can have a few things here and there. But right? I will more say, sustainable okay. then. I will say yes. the exercise, and not extreme exercise, sure. but like we're doing that yeah, start today, 30 day thing. walking challenge. It, you know, it just, it, that improves, I think, your mental health combined with totally. a low carb diet. Yeah. And I, I mean, I've lost about 45 pounds in the last several wow. months. And wow. just, but you again, did? yeah, but oh. only 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 doing about I do about 100 grams of carbs a day, mm -hmm. and then you walk, and, and I walk. So. Yeah. Watch it. Doesn't you seem don't extreme. just you don't just walk. I've seen your workout. You do weights. You do. I mean, like you do a you do like real well, exercise. Well, look, I'm, I mean, uh, I, I, I'm the oldest person here. I'm trying to last a little bit. <laughs> You're the most energetic guy. Yeah, you are. You got more juice than anybody. You are out of all. Yes. Yeah, thank right. you. Thank, thank you. Good. Good. Thank you. Yeah, guys. That was eye opening. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.